Hi, I'm Janet Keefe. I'm Global Product Manager for Spectra Scientific's Microlab product line. And today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the operation of this instrument to show you just how easy this all-in-one automated instrument is to run and get a complete oil analysis in less than 10 minutes. With just a five ounce bottle of sample, the Microlab provides all of the parameters that are found on a typical oil analysis report provided from a laboratory. This includes a metal analysis of wear metals, additive levels, and contamination elements of up to 20 different elements. It also includes six different parameters for oil chemistry, giving the complete picture of oil health and condition. And viscosity is given at two different temperatures, 40 and 100 degrees Celsius. And in the Microlab 40 version, you also get a particle count tests. The Microlab translates all of the data from those tests into an easy to understand report, which includes color-coded alarm limits, as well as diagnostic statements for maintenance actions. This gives you on-site oil analysis capability and real-time decision-making capability. So let's take a look at the operation of running a sample. Okay, so to start a sample, we're going to need to tell the Microlab a little bit about the sample and the equipment that is being tested. The Microlab has a full touchscreen computer and an integrated keyboard. You can also connect a mouse to help you navigate through the screens. So to start, we're going to choose the application. And in this example, we're going to choose off-road as our application. And we hit start. Next, we're going to choose a customer. And so this customer, the ones that have already been run are set up and you can choose it if it's there or you can set up a new customer. A customer can be either a company or it can be maybe a division or a department within a company. So in a, uh, a mining company, it might be the, uh, the haulers or the diggers. So here, we're gonna call this new customer ABC Mining. You can fill out all the information that you want in terms of the address, um, or you can just list the name. And so now we're going to select that customer. Next, it wants to know about the equipment that it's being, that's being tested. So the machine ID is simply an identifier for that machine. It can be either a VIN number or a plate number or any other kind of fleet number that's used to identify that vehicle. So we'll just choose uh, any, any number to identify that. Next, it wants to know the make, the, the machine make, so the vehicle. And in this case, we're going to choose Caterpillar and it wants to know a model for that caterpillar and we will choose a 784 you can either start typing it in or you can scroll down till you find the equipment that you want you can also fill in other information about that equipment but the red asterisks highlight which information is required next it wants to know within that vehicle, what component are you testing? And so in this case, we're going to choose diesel engine. It also gives you the option of hydraulics or transmissions, uh, you know, just the other components that are on that equipment. So next, it needs information about that particular component, about the engine. So for the make, we're going to again choose Caterpillar. And for the model, we'll choose uh, 3512. And again, scroll down till you find it or start typing it in. Center location is what we're going to choose. Again, look for, look for the red asterisks as to what you need to enter for information. So next I want to know the oil capacity. You can choose to set this in quarts, gallons, or liters. We'll choose gallons. And then the sump capacity on the equipment, we can change this into 84 gallons 
And next it wants to know the hours since the um, since that equipment was new or over last overhauled again this can be in miles hours or kilometers we'll set it in hours and we'll say it has 5,000 hours on this engine so we'll go to the next screen which is the oil info clicking the bottom button here so as you can see up at the top we have all the information about uh, the company and the equipment that we just entered. And next we'll enter in the information about the oil. So we'll choose, uh, again, there's a drop down menu for all the different oils that you can enter, or you can choose custom and enter a new oil if it's not listed here. So we will choose a shell, and when you click on the oil type, it will give you all the oil types for Shell. And we'll choose a Rotella, a Rotella T. You need to choose the oil weight. You can select specific weights or uh, all, all weights, and it will list any choices that you can um, choose here. And we will choose a 15W30. It wants to know the date that sample was taken. It defaults to the today's date. You need to tell it whether it's a synthetic or not. And then you need to tell how many hours on that oil. And we'll say there is, a, we'll say there's a thousand hours on that oil. Next, we're going to click analyze. So finally, we have all the information that we've entered. You can see at the top it has the company, the equipment information, and then the oil information that we entered. If we want to change anything, there's the left-hand side has the change buttons, and this would allow us to make edits in any of these sections. Down at the bottom, it's showing the test that it's going to run. So here we're going to run the physical properties for the oil chemistry, the metals, giving the full extended metals, the 20 elements, and then the viscosity. And you have a choice of calculated or measured viscosity. Measured, it is actually running of the viscometer, uh, which gives you the most accurate results. And then we can hit the go button. And next, it's going to prompt us to connect our sample and clean the electrodes. So you can see here, we open up the top and this, these are the electrodes, and they need to be cleaned before each sample using these cleaning swabs. Now we have other videos that you can see that show you all the details on how to do this cleaning process. So we'll just do a quick cleaning here, showing you what we're going to do. This takes all the contamination from the previous samples off. And next we're going to connect up our sample bottle. This just uses a little sipper straw connecting to this inlet. Close the cover. And we're ready to start the test. So we click OK. You can see that right away the oil sample starts to move up into the straw and through the instrument. The test automatically takes the oil sample through the different test chambers and this step will take a little less than 10 minutes to run through all of the analysis. Okay, so now you can see that the sample analysis is complete and it's starting to access what we call the rule editor. And this is matching up the data to the diagnostic statements that we'll see on the report. And finally, we'll see the instrument is flushing. So this is cleaning the sample or cleaning the instrument for the next sample. So once the test completes, the report automatically shows up on the screen 
and it also was set to auto print as well and so it gives a paper copy of the report. You can see that it has all of the information that we entered up at the top here about the equipment and the oil. Down at the bottom is all of the analytical data with the metals analysis here up to 20 different elements. We have the oil chemistry here at the bottom and the viscosity as well. And if we had run a transmission fluid or a hydraulic fluid, it would have also run the particle count information and that would have shown up here. You can see that the uh, it has color-coded alarms for abnormal and severe results. And then when you get these results, you can look at the diagnostic statements here indicating what maintenance actions would be required based on those results. If we had run this equipment previously, the report would show up to the last two samples for history and trending. Finally, you have an option to email the report. And this is a very powerful tool to be able to send it to somebody that you want to have review. So this can be uh, sent to any email address. So we'll send this to my email. And click send. You can type in any kind of note here that you want to uh, when you send it to somebody for review. And as soon as it goes through, it, you get a message that the email has been sent. And you can see that it instantly pops up on my email and I can access this even on my phone. It shows up as a PDF with the exact report. This is very powerful and uh, very quick to be able to do and have other people look at that report right away. So that's all there is to running the Microlab. It's easy to use, gives fast results, and a comprehensive report that's easy to understand. It gives you all the tools that you need to do oil analysis on site and make real-time decisions. Thank you.